What's up guys welcome to my new video and in this video we will see how to connect your MFC application to SQL server ok so you need to know basics of VC++ and SQL ok so let's get started first of all you need this VC++ uh, development kit so you can download this from uh, MSDM website and also you need to download this uh, SQL server management studio which is also available okay on the internet the links are given in the description box below so let us start from the scratch so first of all i will show you how to create a, an a, a, a mfc application okay so go to file new project Okay, then go to MFC, then MFC application, type the name of your project, test, okay, then click on, click on this, okay, then next, and select dialog based, okay, and click on next, and then finish. okay so here is the dialog box for you so you can drag and drop different uh, items from here so let us click on the button so we have this button you can delete this okay and let us take edit control so we have edit control and a button for example so uh, and one more thing you need to add a variable to this okay add variable let us name this variable as id1 ok so you will, we will use this uh, variable when we are uh, uh, about to display something in this edit box ok from our c++ code so let us open a uh, create a c++ file or you can just double click on this button ok so here it is so you can write your code in this uh, section and it will execute when you will click that button okay so i have already written the code in, in a different project let us open that project so it is having uh, the similar uh, dialog and it has one edit control and a button okay so let us start with the code so you have this basic string str name okay and a connection pointer which is initially null okay and we are we are having this uh, connection again a basic string which is the connection to the sql server so it is something like this okay the data source initial catalog it refers to the database okay and then security for, this is for security okay but uh, for my in my case it is not working because it it requires a slash okay it requires a, a forward slash but it is not getting recognized in sql uh, in this ADO. okay it is uh, if you are giving a single forward slash it is escaping that and if you are giving a double forward slash then it is considering the both both forward slashes in the in the path okay so what i have done i have created a connection in OD, odbc okay let me show you how to do that okay odbc and then here you can you can create one uh, connection okay you go to add and select your data source okay sql server finish then you can give name uh, like like i have given test dns okay so you can give any name here so for example sql123 okay then select the server so it is vikramanitya slash sql express okay next so windows nt authentication is enough next
will take a bit. Okay, something is wrong. Let us see what the name is. Oh, sorry, it is backward slash. Stop the things are correct. Oh yes. And click on next and finish. Okay, so it has created this. So you can directly give this name. Okay, in basic string. I'm using text test DNS. Okay. Then we have command pointer and edge result, which returns uh, it is used if if there is some kind of error, okay. So it will be reported in edge result. Okay, then we are initializing the com library and uh, the default parameter is null okay then uh, we are creating an instance for connection we are getting the unique identifier for it and if there is an error then it will be caught in HR okay and then we will display that result then we are uh, we have to open that connection so we are passing the str con basic string to it okay str con is is having this test dns which we created okay and these two parameters are for username and uh, password so we are using windows authentication so do, we, we don't need to give uh, any specific username or password okay and then we are checking if it is uh, getting uh, opened or not okay then we are creating an instance for uh, command okay we are getting uuid of it and then uh, this is the query okay which we need to execute on the database and then we are giving the parameters or uh, how, how we have we need to connect okay so we are providing text as command type command is strsql which is this and we are we are provide that active connection as pcon which uh, the instance which we created just now okay this this instance where it is yeah, this instance okay and then we are executing that uh, instruction okay that query and then finally uh, we are displaying that data has been added successfully and we are closing the connection okay so let us run this take a bit okay so let us click this button so data added successfully okay to check if it is added or not let us go to that table okay ak auto and the database name is AK. Okay. okay. Let us execute these two commands. Okay, so here it is. Let us change the name. Okay. cannot use this name because uh, the schema which I have defined in the table is having the name uh, as of, of only 10 characters okay not more than that and this is definitely greater than 10 characters so let us give some other name okay let us keep it simple okay com and execute this okay now let us check if it is working or not here we go okay so this is it so if you have got something from this video do click on the like button share this video and and comment if you want and do subscribe